Continuing to field questions for us similarly, I have a student asking from within our Telegram group about first aid and wants to know at what point first aid, in my opinion, uh, became out of touch with the US simile. Okay. Uh, he goes on to talk about how uh, when I took the exam in 2012, okay, I took my steps about a decade ago. That first aid was obviously a top resource at the time. So at what point uh, and why is first aid not an ideal resource for you assembly prep at the moment? I'm going to give some points about first aid. Nothing derogatory, okay? This isn't some harangue or diatribe about first aid, but I just want to make some updated points. So before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Give the video a like. I really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical. M-E-H-L-M-A-N underscore medical. Links down below. Find me on Telegram. Links to the Telegram group and channel down below. Now start the clip. So a student wants to know about first aid. And look, it's to address this head on, it's not so much that first aid has become directly out of touch with the U.S. simile. I want to keep things positive, okay? I mean, yes, I could articulate um, that there is a bit of superfluousness to the factoids that are in first aid that the writers might not have as direct uh, experience with the NBME exams because the NBMEs are the U.S. simile, okay? QBank's not the U.S. simile. So if you get authors who are very uh, experienced having gone through QBank, okay, you assiduously study QBank, uh, and you think that those factoids translate into what you need to know for the real deal, it's erroneous, okay? It's actually the NBMEs that are the real U.S. simile. So I've gone through all the NBME exams. I know what's high yield for the U.S. simile. I do NBME questions daily with students. So I know what the U.S. simile wants. And when we compare that to a lot of what's in first aid, we could say, yes, it's out of touch to a degree. But a more important element actually to, to address is the fact that the step one simply went to pass fail in January of this year, 2022. So you now have an exam where you no longer need to know 6,000 fucking factoids to get you a 280 because in the past, before the step one went to pass fail, we needed a strong step one score exactly the same as the 2CK uh, is, is relevant now and important now, okay? So the same fucking way you need to ace 2CK, that's how the step one used to be. So FA, this gunner culture of memorizing nonsense details, serine, threening, kinases, which subunit, etc. I mean, a lot of that's just completely... Uh, off the rails and ridiculous now, not because first aid's a problem, but just but just because the exams pass fail and we need you focusing on the highest yield content. So in my view, first aid's just simply too much for step one at this point. I'm agnostic as far as which resources uh, should be better or worse. I mean, I'm going to have my own biases. Yes, like I make my PDFs and they are excellent. They're my fucking PDFs. Uh, they're based off the NBME exams and my decade of tutoring, but. When I think of first aid objectively and agnostically, as I said, we have a pass-fail step one, and you simply do not need to, there's no reason to be studying 50 fucking factoids for every one that could potentially show up in your US simile, okay? So for step one, I've made tons of clips talking about how to prepare for it. You're going to go through all of UWorld. You're going to go through NBMEs 20 through 30, as well as free 120. You're going to go through my free high yield PDFs from my site. Uh, especially high old arrows. I want you knowing that PDF very fucking well. It rules in highly specific for you passing the step one. I want you to go through my audio cue bank here on the YouTube. If you check my playlist, you'll see by subject, you can do farm questions, micro questions, etc. So I have all that content for the exam. You know the deal, Nick, to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe my channel. I appreciate your time. That's it.